Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat Wednesday. One of my favorite videos to produce because I'm able to give you all of my meals throughout the entire day, breakfast, lunch, a dinner recipe that was delicious, my snacks, my dessert, and this is where I get to share a little bit of day in the life with you. So love me some What I Eat Wednesdays. If you're new, I post these every single Wednesday. You can check out previous videos down in the description box as well as on my channel link. So today I'm gonna be showing you all of my meals for the day. So if you wanna see what I ate, see a little glimpse of those amazingly beautiful fur babies and some day in the life, keep watching. morning I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a breakfast sandwich I'm gonna also have two little halo oranges and some cottage cheese so I want to just show you what I was gonna do to make my breakfast sandwich so I'm going to start with the Western bagel perfect 10 plus bagel in the healthy grain these bagels are only two smart points all of the other full-size Western bagels except for the max I think the max is five it's a larger bagel but all of the other flavors are three smart points. So definitely worth it for a full size bagel. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the Western Bagel Perfect 10 Plus Healthy Grain. I'm going to toast it, and it is only going to be two smart points for the bagel. Make sure that you order Western Bagels. They are amazing. They also have small little baglets, which are smaller bagels for one smart point. So their grade is just a side to eggs and bacon, or you can make little mini bagel sandwiches, whatever you wanna do with them, they're awesome. I do have a discount code for Western Bagel. It is here on the screen. It is also linked down in the description box below, but it will give you 10% off of your order. Right now they have $37 six bags special, so you can pick any six bags of the bagels that you want for $37, then use my 10% off and get free shipping. So check out westernbagel.com. I highly encourage you to order the bagels. They truly are a game changer on WW. I'm going to put one egg on my breakfast sandwich. I did find this cute little microwave egg cooker at Ross for $3. So I'm just simply going to spray the inside with some nonstick cooking spray. You add it to your microwave and it makes a perfectly round egg for your breakfast sandwich. I'm going to have two slices of the Sam's Choice Unseared turkey bacon and I'm going to go ahead and add that to my sandwich as well and top that with a slice of the Jarlsberg light cheese. So this is going to be what is in my breakfast sandwich. So here is breakfast for this morning. So what I have here is the Western bagel. I went ahead and I toasted it and I have two slices of the Sam's Choice turkey bacon. Over here on the other half of my bagel I have one egg. It cooked in that egg cooker perfectly in one minute. Amazing. Topped it with a little bit of the Jarlsberg Swiss cheese. I have about a half a cup of fat-free cottage cheese sprinkled with a little bit of pepper. And then I also have two of the little halo oranges. And I'm going to be having some juice. I'm feeling some juice this morning. So I'm gonna be doing this Ocean Spray Pink Light Cranberry five calories for eight ounces. So my juice is going to be zero smart points and this juice is so, so good. So my breakfast is going to be a total of two for the bacon, two for the bagel, one for the cheese is five, two for the cottage cheese is seven. So this, my friends, is my seven smart point breakfast. Since it's pouring down rain today, Diesel finds himself a spot here under the covered patio 
and he still gets to enjoy outside. He crosses his paws because he's happy as can be, and he avoids being out in this. Look at that, it is dumping. But my boy is as happy as he can be out here. Hi, handsome. Lola Lou, did you dig out mommy's side of the bed? Yeah, this bed was made this morning. Did you? Hi, pretty girl, are you cozy? It's a rainy day, so she's gonna probably spend the majority of her day right here. Well, it is AM snack time, as you can see. I am in the process of getting my meal prep Monday video ready to upload first thing in the morning for you guys tomorrow. Yay! And I am also about to have my mid-morning snack, which per the usual is my Built Bar. Super excited to have this. Today, for some reason, I'm feeling some mint. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the Mint Chocolate Cream Built Bar. I actually just pulled this out of the freezer, which honestly is my very, very favorite way to eat them. So I'm gonna be having this. It is three smart points. It has 15 grams of protein and six grams of fiber. So it is going to keep me nice and full until I am ready to have lunch which will be here in a little bit. I'm about to go live on my Facebook for the first time on my Facebook page. If you have not joined my Facebook group, I'll put it here on the screen. Make sure you join. Tons and tons of ideas. As crazy as it sounds, we have over 1,200 people in my Facebook group already, which is crazy to me. So anyways, I'm gonna have my Built Bar. If you're interested in purchasing the Built Bars, they just changed their code so that you can buy as many boxes and as often as you'd like, and always, 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 always get the 10% off and the free shipping. That code is here on the screen and down in the description box below. But this is a three-point candy bar. Honestly, that's what this is. It is delicious. So make sure that you save my code so that you can always be stocked up on your Built Bar. Happy morning snack, and I'll see you at lunch. Look what came in the mail today, my Target.com order. So I wanted to show you guys what I picked up at Target. So I saw these on YouTube and I've also seen these on Instagram. These are snack size French twists. So essentially it's a layered puff pastry. Don't these look so good? They're coated, they look like croissants, but they're coated in like a cinnamon and sugar coating. And what's awesome about these is you can have one twist for one smart point, or you can have two twists for two smart points. So not bad. I'll go ahead and pull one out so I can show you guys exactly the size of the twists. But I went ahead and picked up three bags from Target. I thought what a great sweet treat for super, super low smart points. And then I've been seeing this all over YouTube and Instagram as well. This is the Tone It Up protein powder. I actually saw this on Amanda Lewis's channel, RIP Fat Girl. And I want to make some muffins out of this. And another thing I was thinking is how good would this be with overnight oats? So super excited. Here are your nutritional facts. I believe that it is, or I'm sorry, one smart point per scoop, which is not bad. And this, my friends, is the coconut flavor. So a little bit of Happy Mail came my way from Target.com. So here's the size of the French twist. So it's about two inches or so long. Not bad for cinnamony, sugary goodness for only one smart point for one or two smart points for two. And again, that's the package if you can find it at your local, local Target or Target.com. What is happening? Where is my baby girl? I don't even know how she got herself head only under the covers. Oh, Lola. She cracks me up. So here is my lunch today. I am super excited. I'm hungry. It's about noon, so I haven't had anything since about 9.40 when I had my Built Bar. So what I'm having is right here I have a quesadilla that I went ahead and cooked on my stove. I have two of the Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps. Inside of my wrap, I have one serving of Velveeta Shreds for two Smart Points, a little bit of fat-free cheese, just to kind of fill the gaps, and then I topped it with one tablespoon of Tostitos Queso. So my quesadilla is a total of five Smart Points. I have some fresh broccoli here that I'm going to be dipping in some of my Skinny Kitchen Ranch. 
and then I have a little bowl of blueberries, and then I have two points worth of the Crunchmaster Protein Brownie Thins, which is 23. 23 thins for two smart points. So that's these right here. These are the Crunchmaster Protein Brownie Thins. These are delicious. So you can have 32 of them for three points or 23 of them for two. And it says tastes like crunchy brownie corners. And that, my friends, is so true. These are delicious. These are the salted caramel. So I have 23 of those for two points. That's basically going to be my dessert. So five for my quesadilla, one for my ranch, two for my brownie thins. So my total lunch is a total of eight smart points of deliciousness. Oh, I know. I know. Hi. It is a beautiful day today. We just came outside so we could play a little bit. What? What? Are you talking? Yeah, you're talking. I know, Dota. Oh, and there's Diesel. So we came outside just to enjoy the nice weather. Look at what a nice day it is today. The sun is finally shining. Yeah, how exciting is that? So we're gonna hang out outside for just a few minutes. Right, guys? This is currently happening. He does this to scratch his back. Right, bud? So this is going to be my afternoon snack. I'm feeling something kind of sweet. It's about three o'clock. I'll start making making dinner here in the next hour and a half or so. Wait till you guys see my recipe for tonight. But I decided to go ahead and have some of the Sour Blast Buddy Smart Sweets. You guys ask all the time how many come in a package. So I went ahead and I dumped them out here on a paper towel. You get quite a few and they are decent size. They are so good. This is one of my very favorite ones from Smart Sweets. If you're interested in purchasing yourself some Sour Blast Buddies or some gummy bears or sweet fish, you can use my code here on the screen to receive free shipping. So I highly recommend Smart Sweets three points for this entire bag of candy. And when you're just wanting something sweet, Smart Sweets does the trick. So for tonight's dinner, I'm going to be making shepherd's pie. I am super excited. My husband is stoked to have this for dinner tonight. He is very much a meat and potato guy, so this is right up his alley. So let me show you everything you're going to need for the shepherd pie. So first you're going to need some non-stick cooking spray beef broth, milk. You can also substitute milk alternative if you would rather. You're going to need some potatoes, canned peas, Worcestershire sauce, light butter, basil, black pepper, parsley. It called for rosemary. I don't have any. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a little bit of thyme. Some tomato paste, two carrots, a medium sized onion, and then a pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef. So let's get started on our shepherd's pie. I went ahead and chopped up the two carrots and the onion. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get a saute pan and our non-stick cooking spray. We're gonna go ahead and generously spray the bottom of your pan. And to that, we're gonna go ahead and add in our carrots and our onions. And we're gonna let those saute down until they are fully cooked through. So it will take about 10 minutes or so. And in the meantime, I'm going to chop all of the potatoes in half and get those ready to boil in some water. Once your onions and carrots start to cook down, we are gonna go ahead and add in our ground beef. So pop in your pound of ground beef and we're gonna let this cook until it is nice and brown. And then we are ready to add in peas, Worcestershire sauce, beef broth, get this guy on the road. I'm gonna go ahead and get my potatoes boiling as well. Once your hamburger gets completely browned and cooked through, it's time to add some more of our delicious ingredients. So next up is Worcestershire sauce. The recipe calls for about three tablespoons. So I'm just gonna go ahead and ring it, wing it like I normally do. So I'm gonna add about three tablespoons worth of the Worcestershire sauce to the recipe. This is also when we are going to be adding in one cup of our beef broth. We are also going to be adding in one quarter cup 
of tomato paste. I really like the tomato paste in the tube. I feel that it lasts a lot longer and I think that it's a better quality tomato paste than even what comes in a can. So I typically will always buy it in a tube. I am also going to add in my can of drained peas. So go ahead and add that in. And then lastly are all of our spices. So first I'm gonna add thyme in place of rosemary only because I don't have any rosemary. I swore I did, but couldn't find it. And then I'm also going to add in some ground black pepper. And I just wing my spices as you know. And then I'm also going to add in some parsley. And then lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add in some basil. I may add a little bit of salt. I want to taste it first. Make sure that it isn't too salty because of the beef broth. We are going to let this simmer on the stove for about 15 minutes. And my potatoes are just about at a boil as well. Our meat and veggie mixture for our shepherd's pie is coming along nicely. We are simmering it here for about 15 minutes. It's been going for about five, so an additional 10 minutes. My potatoes are now at a rolling boil. We'll go ahead and get these boiled up and then we're going to use a hand mixer and make our mashed potatoes. And then we'll be ready to get our shepherd's pie into the oven. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. So we are about ready to get dinner in the oven and it is looking delish. Once your potatoes are cooked all the way through, I went ahead and just left them in my same pan. I am going to add one tablespoon of light butter, and then I'm also going to add one cup of skim milk. Sorry, it's so steamy. Try to pull back a little bit here, there we go. And then basically I'm gonna take my hand mix mixer and I'm gonna just get these nice and mixed together until we have mashed potatoes. Once your meat mixture has simmered for about 15 minutes, you're gonna go ahead and add that to your nine by 13 baking dish. And then we are going to top our meat mixture with our mashed potatoes. And then it's going to go in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes or until our potatoes start to brown. Our shepherd's pie is ready to go in the oven. Look at how yummy that looks. Topped with those glorious mashed potatoes. I will be back to show you the finished meal, plate it up, and I'll show you exactly how much you get for the smart points. But this is definite comfort food, definite husband, boyfriend, guy friendly food. I just pulled the shepherd's pie out of the oven and this looks amazing. Look at how thick and delicious and those potatoes on top. Yum. I'm gonna let this set for just a few minutes that I have a chance to kind of cool a little bit. I'm going to slice this into six servings, so that is quite a large serving. Plate it up with some veggies, and I'll show you my completed dinner for tonight. So here is my dinner for tonight. Over here I have one serving of the California medley vegetables. I'm gonna add just a little bit of spray butter and some salt and pepper. And then here is one sixth of the shepherd's pie. Look at this, you guys. Those potatoes and hamburger veggies yum this entire serving of shepherd's pie is only five smart points and that is using real potatoes not cauliflower mash how awesome is that so this entire dinner is a total of five smart points yummy i cannot wait to dig in for dessert tonight i'm going to have my traditional parfait so i'm going to be having the light and fit greek yogurt toasted coconut vanilla I'm going to be having one of the cinnamon smart cakes. This is my favorite flavor. If you haven't seen the smart cake, this is what they look like. So it's just a little cake with a sugary cinnamony crumb coating. I do have a discount code for the smart cakes. I will put it here on the screen and it is down in the discount or the description box below. It is 10% off of your order. And that also includes the smart buns, the one smart point hamburger buns. So I'm gonna use the cinnamon smart cake and some fat-free Ready Whip and put it here in this wine glass and I will show you my completed parfait. So here is my parfait for tonight with the yogurt, the cinnamon smart cake, and then layers of the fat-free Ready Whip. These smart cakes are so delicious and they are only one smart point. The yogurt is two and the Ready Whip is zero. So this is a total of three smart points.
Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat Wednesday. I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my meals throughout the day today, including the calories. I know a lot of you are loving having the calories on the screen, so I will definitely continue doing that for you. I hope you enjoyed seeing the dogs, a little day in the life. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe hit that little notification bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. I upload most days of the week, so don't miss out. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you thought of what I ate today and if you're still loving having the calories on the screen. And I'll see all of you wonderful, amazing people in my next video. Bye.